everybody, uh, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to show you guys how to do your own private RuneScape server. This will work for pretty much any RuneScape version that you can get your um, source on. So um, what I wanted to show you guys was how to start your own client and uh, I'm going to do it step by step just so that there's no um, there's no um, gaps in your knowledge. So uh, the first thing that you want to download for starting a private RuneScape server um, locally for now is Java so you want to download Java it's really easy to find um, if you don't know how to run and install Java you might be looking at the wrong tutorial um, and then you want the latest Java development kit and you just google that and um, I think the latest one is uh, J JDE8 or JDK8 so um, you want to download that as well or else it won't run and then, um, and then you want to download Eclipse which is uh, an integrated development environment for Java because RuneScape runs on Java and this is what you're going to need in order to run the game. You can run some files from just the file server and the files that you get from rune, runeserver.com but I'll go over that in a second. And then you also, lastly, want to sign up to um, uh, runeserver which is um, runeserver.ee so you want to download um, um, RSPS source and if you don't know how to do that I'll show you so you want to go to rune server and then you want to go to the forum which is here and then we're going to download our source material so we're going to download our client and server and basically what this does is the client allows us to um, the client allows us to basically our RuneScape client that we play the game in, right? That's that's our side, and then the server is all the files, and that's what we connect to locally, and then we can host that later on. But for now, um, you want to go and find downloads. So um, if you scroll down, you should be able to find um, RuneScape development. So um, uh, basically, you want to find um, the RuneScape development download so we could go on RS503 which is just the version of the game cache at the time and then um, we go to downloads here and then um, we can find a release of RuneScape that we want to run and download now obviously this is down to you you can download whatever version you want to um, I would recommend downloading whatever one that you like best Obviously, people have different preferences. For me, I prefer sort of um, the older versions of the game and stuff. But again, it's entirely down to um, whatever you like. Anyway, so right now we're going to download our files. So if you download any RSPS source you want to, for example, a good one to download is um, uh, 2006 Redone. Okay downloaded 2006 redone, a blank client, project internity, and revival RS. Those are four that I found on the forums and if you're really struggling to find um, an RSPS source I just recommend that you really trawl these forums. I mean it's not too hard to find. Um, you're gonna need an account to sign up but it takes two seconds to sign up so um, all you have to do is just go there and you'll find it. Anyway, um, getting back to it you're going to download an RSPS source. If you can't find an RSPS source on here, go to a different website, but this is the best website to download RSPS source. Anyway, right, so we've got our sources, and um, I'm going to show you just what it looks like to run um, a private RuneScape server within your computer. So um, this is Project Insanity, and you only need Java installed to run this, so I'll show you that now. Um, okay. Now, if I go to Project Insanity Client, okay, so this is essentially how you'll run it uh, later on, but th for now you don't need Eclipse. Um, this is just to show you that it runs. Click on the server, click the run bat file, and this will run our local server, which we'll connect to locally, and obviously it runs on our local port, default 435994, uh, <coughs> and then we want to go to Client, and run that client from here. And then again, the RuneScape 2 client will load. As you can see, it's already loaded up. Wait for that to load. 
and then just sign in with anything so just putting in any username and password will work so see it registers and um, here we go we're um we're in we're in game and um, you can basically do whatever you want again this is um this is just a very basic blank um, uh, project at the moment so you obviously change your character do whatever you want we all know our classic runescape anyway so um that's just how to run project insanity which is just one rsps source and obviously there's a few things that you can do here just to show you that it works again see the inventory works some of the things don't work though it's going to be a bit buggy but that's just one client anyway we'll close that <coughs> and then we'll close all this okay now I'm going to show you how to do something which is just a bit more advanced that was just project insanity and that's a very basic runescape client and now I'm going to show you um, how to run Eclipse so you can run stuff that's a bit more advanced because essentially um, Mopalscape and, and project insanity they run on not all Mopalscape but um, they're, they're basic and we want to do something a little more advanced so anyway um, what we want to do now is put um, our source files into Eclipse, which really is not that hard to do. Um, so um, we just find our RSPS files, for example, 2006 redone, and then um, we open that zip file. You want to extract it, which isn't too hard to do. You just extract it to the folder. So you've got your RSPS files here. Open this, and then you want to copy the relevant files over to the uh, Eclipse. You copy these over and then um, the way that you would do it is you go file, open file and then you open these folders one by one in Eclipse like I've done here. You see I've opened the client which is here and then I've opened file server which is here and I've just opened all these. So really not that difficult to do. I'm just not going to go over it because it would be too time consuming. So for 2006 redone you need to run the file server first, then the server, then the client. And I'll show you how you run files from Eclipse because um, it's not immediately obvious. So basically what you want to do, right, is right click on the folder of the files and then go run, run as, oh, hold on a sec. Sorry, I was on the wrong bit. Uh, run configurations. Um, hold on a second, I'm just uh, getting an error here. Hey, sorry, I just had to pause. Um, basically, uh, if you move um, these files around in location on your computer, they won't run from Eclipse. So if you get that error where you where you right click and you run as and it doesn't show up as a jar for application, it means your application files have moved. So I've had to redo it quickly for the purpose of this video. So I'll show you how to open these quickly. Um, you just go on File, New, Java Project, and then you untick Default Location, and you click the folder that you want which is our client click finish and then if it says do you want to change the compliance just say yes and that'll give it a few seconds to create a module info um, you will get some errors but just leave that it's fine and then you want to right click your file server run as Java application and you'll see the file server is here just click OK and uh, we'll let that run and then um, when we run the file server we then want to run our, um, our our server itself and then we see our servers here just click OK and run that give it a minute okay alright whilst that's running then we can run our client which is here and then we just run that as a Java application and we proceed and as you can see it's loaded um, I think I've turned the sound off because it's really loud but um, now we can run a better version of what we ran before so if we just use an example account and even though you might not be able to see it in the console that uh, the server and file server are running but you can see what we're doing in the game is going to come out on that um, on that console okay and as you can see it might take a while but now we're connected locally to our um, to our host and uh, we've registered our user 
and uh, as you can see I'm on Tutorial Island and you can just skip that if you want to and um, yeah we're back in uh, we're back in Lumbridge um, we don't start off in Edgeville sometimes you'll start off in different places it just it depends really um, obviously this is an old version of the game it's a 2006 version redone so it's going to be a bit different to current old school but as you can see when we do stuff in game it's going to be registered down here and it runs like any private RuneScape server does anyway so you'll get XP um, sometimes at an accelerated rate sometimes you don't but I think for this it's, it's supposed to be accurate so um, uh, combat works and everything which is fine there might be some problems with the sounds and stuff like that but um, a lot of these can be resolved by just um, compiling programs or there, there are tons of like bugs and fixes and stuff out there and as you can see dialogue works which is fine as well um, pretty much everything works um, I don't know any of the commands for this specific RSPS but as you can see it works it works pretty fine to me um, the combat's okay, the travel's okay, the loading's okay uh, the music player's fine so all that works I think all the ambient sounds works well but um, and then obviously you can do other stuff like you know tilt tree and you see our actions are being registered down there and you can just have fun and do what you want basically um, and, and your user will be registered so that when you sign out you can sign back in and the um, the Java files will save your character so as you can see you know we've got some of our skills up if we just log out and then we want to log back in we'll click that and then we'll register our user again it'll say <laughs> you logged in earlier and let's see we're back on the progress so um yeah that's essentially how you host a runescape server locally and um anyway that's that's it all for now thank you for watching i'll be doing probably another video about something um related to this soon anyway if you found it useful leave a like and um thank you for watching see you soon